Good morning, boys and girls. Yay, kicker. Yay, we get to have some fun today. Y'all see our corner of the dash over there, that little grill? And that one there? Yay. Today, we get to put the Infinity Kappa 20 MXs in the dashboard of the Jeep Patriot over here. And Jeep just got to put them up here somewhere or extended this panel to where you just snapped it out. Nope. The whole entire dash pad's got to come off. The whole thing, all the way across. And that's what we're going to do today. And let me get back in here real quick because the light is washing me out. Now, here's the little crossover for the MX20 MX. And you'll see it has a plug on both ends. Plugs into the crossover here. That's cool. Like that. And it has a plug here. Well... If we were using Infinity Kappa components, this would actually plug into the Infinity Kappa component crossover, enabling you to run them as a three-way. Well, we're not doing that. We're using it universally. Well, there's no indication of what the heck is positive and negative on the wire. I did a little test and thought I'd determine that the one with the little gray stripe, I don't know if y'all can see that, phone's not focusing. Anyway, one's black, one has a little gray stripe on it. Harman International, Infinity, whatever, customer service absolutely sucks. They have no idea what the hell they're really talking about. Guy put me on hold and come back to research and said, oh yeah, the one with the stripe is positive. So we're just going to have to hope that that's right and hope for the best. So anyway, but yep, all of it, the whole entire thing has to come out of here. All right, we're going to show y'all how to do it. We'll be back in a little bit with, yeah, the assembling process. All right, y'all, one of the first things we gotta start with is removing the filler pieces by unsnapping that clip. And there's a screw. Up in there, be careful. Because they're not really that magnetic. And then just snap it out and slide her up. And that's it for removing the pillar pieces. And now that the pillar pieces are removed, that is going to allow us to get in here now and snap up the defroster piece and they got their plastic panel tools and stuff that everybody uses i really prefer to really try to kind of do everything by hand so i can really get a feel but sometimes almost all the time here we go. Nothing wants to cooperate. We just snap it up from the front. And then we just pull it out like so. Alright, so that pretty much does it for the top work. Now we're going to get down to the bottom work. So y'all hang on. Okay, now let's go ahead and remove our AC radio bezel. Yeah, come on. Let's give it a. And one thing I've noticed about the Patriot here is sometimes the clips just love to stay in the dash. And we get your radio out. You you might have two plugs. Depends on the trim level of your vehicle. I just unplug your AC plug and find a safe place to set that. I like to go in the back seat with it. And with this at this point, we don't necessarily need to exactly remove the radio. But I am gonna go ahead to and I got one clip here that decided to stay in the dash while you're thinking about it and you're here. Remove that clip, 
and put it back where it came from so that way you're not wondering why your dash piece won't fit on there correctly when you go to put it back together All right. okay so what we got is we got one two three four five six screws removed here And get this done real quick. I got something I gotta fix on the radio. Come on. And when you go to get the last screw out, keep a hand on your radio. Get that last screw out. Keep a hand on the radio. So that way your radio just doesn't take a face plant. Okay, do not set your screws up here on the dash piece because you're going to be taking this out. So, we need to go set these screws on our table over here, and we need to set them in the middle of a table. And the reason I say middle of a table is that way when you go to put it back together, I'll show y'all how I have everything laid out on the table as we take it apart. Alright. So, now we got to remove a bunch of stuff from over here in the glove box. There you go. So, y'all bear with it. Alright. Now, now that we're in the glove box area over here, we're going to very carefully get in here and... Darn it, it was, was popped off, right? I highly recommend vinyl panel tools, guys. I just normally, like I said, y'all seen me, I normally use my hand, but I just couldn't quite get in there on that. And this has got snaps all the way in the very back. And it also hooks into the weather strip. So, you have to kind of gently pull the weather strip. And I curl out, and there you go. All right, we had to remove that because we have one, two, well, actually, yeah, we got one, two, three, four screws removed there. And in a lot of this process, you are gonna need a stubby screwdriver. Okay, so that's it for that. And we open our glove box. There is a um, too much stuff in the glove box. My number one rule of thumb when I'm working on the car: get that stuff out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the glove box kind of down. Let's see if I can get mine up. It's going to be two screws in here. I think I got to come out. second because I know there's some I forgot what else is holding the glove box we got that, that, and that
nothing like fighting with a glove box. Come out of there. Okay. Dump everything out the glove box. There we go. And then the glove box is pretty much just hooked. And if you're like me, if you have like a base controller thing, you're going to have to get your wire out of there. Really? The wire went in, but it won't come out? There we go. All right. And then we got the glove box out. There are one, two, three more screws in here. And voila. Now, if I'm not mistaken, should have. All right, I'm gonna see if there's any more hidden screws or anything, guys. I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, guys, this is where it might get sketchy for some of you. Um, we ain't scared though, right? See this 10 millimeter bolt here, and one over here, and the airbag. Yep, you got to disconnect the airbag, and we got to remove those 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, yeah, there's one. And. Ew. Yeah. I know, hell of a ride, ain't it? There goes two. And the airbag. Okay. The airbag, you got a little orange lock on it. I'm going to show you guys how it works. I can't do this and hold the camera at the same time, but we got to um, pop this little orange lock out and then it simply unplugs uh, yep yeah, I can't do it one handed guys we'll show you on a minute get in here guys <laughs> okay we got her Earn it. it'll be with it man this ain't easy alright we got our airbag wires out I was telling you guys wrong you pull down on the red thing you get your pick tool in there and just pull down on the red that unlocks it and there you go we unplug it the orange and the black just because when you go to plug it back in we'll only plug in one way now at this point um you're not really going to want to cut your key back on because that will cause your airbag light to come on but the great thing about jeeps and most chrysler vehicles it's just an auto resetting, so if you happen to do do that, just get it plugged back in and cut your key back on, and that'll be it. So now, I do want to cover in this video, too, that a lot of people have been doing an aftermarket radio, Android radio, and not getting an antenna adapter with it. If you don't get an antenna adapter with your Android radio, look at this, on this right side kick panel, in the Chrysler Jeep vehicles there is a regular antenna plug over here now you might have to get an extension but actually I don't think you're gonna even have to get an extension you should be able to pull this and route it over to the radio so you can save yourself like 12 15 bucks on the antenna adapter by just coming into the kick panel over here on the right side all right now let me get myself readjusted here and then we'll go on further to this major surgery all right you making progress here like i said this wouldn't take this long for trying to shoot this video so we got our right side free 
and it was being a booger because I kind of forgot. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't forget about any hidden screws, but they've got these snaps here, and these things are pretty darn tight. So once you get your airbag disconnected and those those 10 millimeters removed and your airbag disconnected, just give it kind of a tug, and it's going to release. If your um, air vent happens to want to stay in your dash, that's fine. That's good. We can we'll get that and it's going to be easier for me to go out here and say step number i don't know ever how many steps we're at i don't know let me kill this light hey y'all see my happy smiling face anyway we're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight nine screws to remove all across this top and then from that point we will get over here on this left side and we're going to pretty much do what we did on the right side to the left side so if we don't have to disconnect no airbags pop this cover off there'll be like three or four screws and then the rest of it will be snapped so we'll get there in a second i'm going to go ahead and get those um top screws out of there and save y'all the pain of watching me how to do it with cheap stubby screwdriver so all right we'll be right back oops i'm sorry I forgot to start recording guys as we said um snap this piece once you get all the eight screws from up there um snap this piece off like you did the passenger side one there was one two screws there and yeah we got all those out and then i think i forgot i don't know if i Forgot to tell y'all about those, but I just actually forgot to remove them. And now it's a matter of lifting up from here. And as you can see, we are completely free. And so now, y'all give me a second. I'm going to try to set the tripod thing up in the back seat the best I can. So y'all can watch me work this whole thing loose and get it out of the car so y'all bear with it this, this is this is surgery all right it looks like that should work out pretty well got y'all in the back seat and we go up there and wiggle this thing out y'all bounce around a little bit i can't help it. okay Make sure your steering wheels are all in all the way down position. And the problem is, is you gotta lift that airbag over there is really heavy. So it's a matter of Kind of getting it up and over. And just let it roll. Watch your mirror. Watch your, you got to watch your mirror. You got to watch your turn signal stalks. And all that good stuff. And that's it. There it is. It's free. And like I said, a lot of times your air vent might want to come apart. It's just going to snap back in and it'll snap back into the thing over there. This one did the same thing. No big deal. They just snap in there. So. Okay. Yeah. That's it, guys. That's how to remove the dashboard on the 2012 to 2018 Jeep Patriot. And as far as doing the getting the speakers up here, I'm going to have to work with that a little bit. And, um,. Uh, if you can figure out how if you can work with this video and um, get this dash pad off, I think you can handle 
doing a couple of speakers so we're not going to worry about all that and this is also a good time before we put the dash back together see all that dust and stuff that somehow gets underneath there we're actually going to clean all this dust and stuff out and out of the air vents and all this stuff it's a good time to do that your car will smell cleaner and fresher once you get all this dust and stuff out of there so so that's it guys I got work to do and really don't have time to do a whole lot more video. Put it back together. Just reverse what you did. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do this little update for these particular speakers. If you're just doing your basic 2.75, that's fine. They're going to fit no problem. These actually kind of fit no problem. You can see we are virtually, if I kind of give it a twist and a spin, we're virtually in. But what we're going to do is take a Dremel tool, whatever, file, something, motor, whatever. There's some little tabs. We're going to grind those tabs off. And then we just need to hit the circle real quick, just a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. some of it off, smooth it out some. That should be good. Now, like I said, we just need to get in here and just, I mean, when y'all see how much it's going to take, you're going to be like, dang. <laughs> just like we did that's it I mean this awkward position to get into <laughs> Never Dremel before what happens it'll leave like some um burn up plastic edges just get those off you should be able to kind of do it with your fingernail or whatnot they'll just kind of fall right out
Okay, that should be that. Should be a perfect drop in fit now. Look at that. That was it. That was all we needed. And there you go. Perfect lock in fit. And another thing you will discover, even if you don't have speakers up here, is here are the factory speaker wires. And they do go in behind the dash to the radio. So, not really any need to run the wires there unless you're going to do whatever you're going to do differently. So, all right, that's it. Um, I think with filming this video, it took me just over, just about a good hour or so to get this dash off. So, make sure you allow yourself, it, you know, a good two to three hours to get all your work done. Putting it, taking it off and putting it back on. So, that's what I need to do, y'all, is get to work. So, the video is done.